Hi, this is Mahindra Raj. Welcome back to another share, another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can transfer domains from one domain registrar over to another, right? In my case, I want to, I got all my domains registered in GoDaddy.com and I'd like to get out of GoDaddy because I kind of don't like them anymore. And so one of the um, better domain registrars that I've been reading about and, you know, reading feedback about from a lot of people on the internet is Namecheap. And so I, I've done all the research and I've researched quite a few domain registrars out there and Namecheap seems to be pretty reputable and has great customer support and customer service and uh, they're pretty standardized and among the lowest priced uh, for new domain registrations as well as domain renewals because you've got to renew your domain every year. So Namecheap is one I definitely recommend. So go have a look at that. So I'm going to show you how, in my case, I'm going to transfer my domains from GoDaddy to Namecheap. All right. So the first thing you want to do is sign in to the GoDaddy account if you have one or whatever domain registrar. And once I've signed in, I'm going to look at this one here, domains and click on manage. Phase one is where you prepare the domains, right? you got to prepare all the domains. I've got 10 domains here and I've got to prepare them for the transfer. What does prepare mean? you got to make sure, you see this thing that says lock, you got to make sure all your domains are unlocked. In my case, previously they were locked. What does locking do? Locking prevents any unwanted changes from happening to the domains or, or the settings for the domains. So make sure the domains are unlocked and privacy, if you have bought privacy for any of your domains, you need to remove the privacy before the transfer can be made, right? So before the transfer can be made, make sure you're going to remove all the privacy. And the other thing you want to do is make sure that every one of the domains that you want to transfer, if I click on the check button here and I go to contacts and click contact information, make sure that there's an email address. You know why? Because when you initiate the transfer process from one domain registrar to another, an email is going to be sent to you with an authorization code. And so if there's no email here, A, they can't check your details and B, well, they can't email you the authorization code, right? So make sure each of the domains that you want to transfer go into each one of them and make sure under contact there are valid and applicable contact details of yours, all right? Now, those are the three things. Make sure the domain is unlocked, make sure there's no privacy, privacy has been removed, and make sure there are proper and accurate contact details. Now, another thing, if you have changed, one of the rules they have is if you have changed any of these contact details, especially the administrative details, within the past 60 days, you can't, um, you can't initiate a transfer, all right? You can't initiate a transfer. So make sure, um, you know, you, you're aware of that, all right? All right, phase two is where you got to go and request the authorization code for the transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the domains and you got to repeat this step. If you're transferring several domains, you got to repeat the step for each of the domains you're going to transfer, all right? So I'm going to click on the domain and scroll down and at the bottom you will see it says authorization code. I'm going to click email my code and make sure the email address is correct and hit send. Right? And an authorization code will be emailed to that address. I'll need it later in step three. All right? So that's step two or phase two. So step one is you prepare the domains for the transfer. Step two is you go into each of the domains you want to transfer and email yourself the authorization code for the transfer. Once that's done, it's going to take a few minutes for the authorization code to actually arrive in your email, in your inbox. So now you go into step three or phase three, which is you go over to namecheap.com, right? Or the new domain registrar, whatever it is for you. And you go there on namecheap.com and I'm going to go over to domains and transfer and I'm going to type in 
all the domains that I want to transfer. So in this case, for example, mahindraraj.com is definitely a transfer. And you hit transfer, right? There's also, if you're transferring several at one time, you can also hit bulk options and enter all, uh, many more domains that you want to transfer, a whole bulk list of them, all right? I've already done that, so they're all in my cart, so I'm just going to go and go ahead and click view cart because I already previously entered it just to speed up this video, right? So all my domains are already here. Be sure to check all your domains and you know, you're going to get one year. When you do a transfer, you don't lose the existing time you have left for that domain. For example, if this domain of mine expires in say 2018, when I make the transfer, that that time is retained. I don't lose that time until 2018. And what Namecheap does is they give you an additional year, right? It says one year here, right? I can't select any more years. Well, it's going to give you one more year on top of the existing validity period. So if it originally expires 2018, I'm going to get another year. So it's going to expire in 2019. Makes sense, all right? Go through and make sure all the details are correct for all the domains you want to transfer. And if you have a promo code, you're going to enter it here. Now, if you don't have a Namecheap account yet, you're going to have to sign up and get a username and obviously a password and sign in. Once you got the username and password, sign into your Namecheap account before you can apply a promo code. If you try to apply a promo code without having created an account first, it's going to give you an error message. All right. So once you've signed up and you have your username and password, go ahead and sign in and then go back to the view cart, right? View cart uh, button and you should see the same page again. Once you've signed in, now you can apply the promo code. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the promo code that I know I found, which is, I believe, cold snap. And I'm gonna hit apply. And if that's correct, the, yep, all right. I'm getting a slightly uh, cheaper price, just about 80 cents cheaper per domain which adds up you know, to about $7 in savings, which is awesome. And um, you know, go ahead and make sure all the details are correct. And you're gonna go ahead and complete step three. So complete step three is to confirm the order, right? Confirm the order. So once you've confirmed your order, they're gonna ask you for your, obviously your contact information, which you will enter. So once you've entered all your information, go ahead and click continue and it comes to a payment page. So go ahead and enter your payment details. You can use a credit card or use PayPal or use uh, you know, account funds, whatever you want. Make sure your billing address is all correct. And this, is, this, applies, this section here applies to renewal settings. So if you want all your domains to automatically renew, well, you can tick that box and all of them will auto renew. If you don't want them to auto renew, make sure this is unchecked. Or if you want certain um, certain domains to auto renew and others not, well, just tick tick each box that you want to auto renew. All right, this has to do with auto renewal. I personally don't like auto renew functions. I renew them manually by myself. And um, it says here there's a box to save the configuration above to your default payment settings. Do that if you want, and they'll save your information for future use. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my payment details. And then once you've done that, you click continue. Once you've clicked continue, you will come to an order review page. So just make sure all the details are correct one last time. So you're getting a domain transfer. It's a one year transfer at this price. And they're giving you free who is God, which is protecting of your private information, your personal information for free for one year, right? There's no charge. Any subsequent year when you renew, if you want uh, to protect your personal information, it's $2.88, right? $2.88 for each year. So go ahead and check all the details are correct. One last time, just to make sure, make sure your payment details are correct and go ahead and click pay now. All right, so the next step is to go into your Namecheap account and uh, when you click on the dashboard, you will see um, all these domains or whatever domains you requested a transfer for uh, listed and you will see that you know it says awaiting auth, auth code authorization code and you can authorize the transfer here by clicking on the button now you would have also received email or an email depending you know if how many domains you had requested a transfer you would receive an email in your inbox with the authorization code. So what you wanna do 
is for example for this domain right here I'm going to click authorize transfer and it's asking me for the authorization code so I'm going to go to my inbox and I'm going to look for the authorization code for that domain all right this is the one here I'm going to copy and paste copy that and I'm going to paste it in here and save the changes all right that's done now I'm going to go through the same steps for all the other domains I've also requested a transfer for. Now once that's done, the button should change or you can refresh the window and now it says refresh status. I can, well I can refresh the status there and it says transfer and status refresh and it's showing me the latest up to date information about that transfer. And it's saying here right now the system is verifying domain contacts. It takes a while, it takes about 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes depending. And we're just basically waiting until this changes and you'll see what it changes to in a while. And while waiting for it to verify the domain contacts, you can go ahead and enter the authorization code for any other domains you've requested a transfer for. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll pause the video and when I resume, you'll be able to see what the uh, status has changed to. Now you can see after a few minutes, the uh, message here is saying awaiting email confirmation. All right. So I've refreshed the status. I've re in fact, I reloaded the whole page and it's saying awaiting email confirmation. So what that means is a Namecheap has sent me an email with a link in it and basically I have to follow and click on that link and confirm approve the actual transfer request so it's like a double measure a double safety measure that they're making sure that I am the one that's requesting a transfer all right so I'm gonna show you that email in a while all right let's check back in with the email and you see that I've got a new email here where it says for the said domain all right and it's saying I must agree to enter into a new registration agreement with them. And I can view the full terms if I want, terms and conditions over there. But it's saying that if I do not respond by September 13th, the domain will not be transferred. So to transfer, I must click. You must click on this link to continue the transfer process. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And it's going to open up this page where it's going to confirm again, right? Transfer information for the domain. And it's asking for approval information. So the bullet is already uh, checked where I approve transfer of the domain and I'm on the contacts currently listed. So I'm going to approve that and submit. That's really all you have to do. Now that's what is meant by awaiting email confirmation. Once you've done that, the response has been recorded and you can go ahead and close that page. So you'll have to do this for every single one of the domains that you've requested a transfer for. As soon as you enter the authorization code, after you've done that, you wait about five to 10 minutes, you should get an email and that email will open up that web page just show, uh, you just saw. And from there, you just approve the transfer. Now, once you've entered the authorization code for all the domains you want to transfer, and you've received the email asking you to approve the transfer, and you've clicked on the link and submitted the transfer form, what you can do, actually, you don't have to do anything else beyond this. The transfer will take place after uh, details of ownership have been verified and all the standard procedures have been, have been completed. But there's one more thing you can do to speed up this process of transference and acceptance, all right? And what you do is you go back into GoDaddy and into your domain manager in GoDaddy. And this, bear in mind, it'll take usually for every domain you approve the transfer for, it's going to take maybe 10, 15 minutes, in some cases even more before you see uh, what I'm about to show you. So if I go back to GoDaddy and I go into my domain manager, you can see all my domains still here. I'm going to click on domains and I'm going to click on transfers. And once I do that, you will see that this is one of the first domains I approve the transfer for and it says pending transfers in and pending transfers out. You click on pending transfers out and you'll see whatever domains are ready to be transferred. That means they've done all the verification processes, they've checked what they need to check and I can now transfer it. So a way to speed this process up is to go ahead and accept or decline. You see this transfer not started, accept or decline. So I can go ahead and click that and it's going to check the tick box immediately and it says accept or decline mahindraraj.com confirm that you're accepting or declining transfer i'm going to accept the transfer and click ok all right it says your request has been submitted changes may take 15 minutes to take effect all right that's basically it 
Okay, so there are about five or six steps to this whole process from start to finish. And this is the finish point where you go back into your original domain registrar, in my case, GoDaddy, and click on the domains, click on transfers, and look for the pending transfers out. And then you simply accept for all the domains, you just accept the transfer. And that will basically tell GoDaddy, all right, um, I, I do want to transfer this out, so go ahead and initiate the process for me. And once this is done, once you've accepted the transfer of all your domains that you want to transfer out, you just give it some time. It'll take uh, anything between a few hours to maybe even a day for the whole transfer to be done to the new domain registrar. And that's it. All right. So basically, that's it. If you want to transfer domain registrars, just watch this video, follow it step by step. Bear in mind, between each step, you may have to wait 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending for all that verification to be done by both parties. All right. So give it some time and check your email, click on the relevant links and just take action. Okay. I hope this has been tremendously valuable for you. If you have any feedback or if you want to share anything or if you want to ask any questions, go ahead and comment wherever you're watching this on and, uh, you know, share this video or subscribe to my channel or, you know, whatever you, wherever you're watching this from, you either like, subscribe or comment and share. All right. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mahindra Raj. Have an amazing day.